being everything to me. Hallelujah. We're going to start. Thank you for that wonderful prayer. You remind me about God using my ordinary self to do extraordinary things. I thank God. Um, we're going to have praise and worship right now by uh, Elder Sir Tess. Thank you. Praise the Lord every month. Come on, and we come to make a joy for the mercy of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
think of a name that's wonderful. Somebody recall who he's been to you and say, If I don't know no other name to call, I call. Shouting when I'm hungry, fool, when I'm hungry, Jesus. Every time I need you, you show up.
stand to your feet. We're going to have Brother Lucy come up and do Amen. the responsive reading this morning. God the omnipresent. Come on, brother. God the omnipresent. Amen. Psalms 139, verses 1 and 16, chapter 23. Oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. God, investigate my life. Get all fact, uh, all of the facts firsthand. I have no open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. Yes. Wow. You know when I leave and when I get back. I am never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there. Uh -huh. Then up ahead and you're there. Uh -huh. Two, you're researching, reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit? See out of your sight. If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you find me in a minute. Yeah. You're already there waiting. Then I said to myself, Oh, even he sees me in the dark. In the dark mm -hmm. at night, I'm immersed in the light. Mm -hmm. It is a fact. Darkness is not dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light. They're all the same to you. Oh yes, you shaped me first inside, mm -hmm. then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. Mm -hmm. I thank you, high God. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. You know me inside and out. Yes. You know every bone in my body. Uh -huh. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit, how I was sculptured from nothing into something. Mm -hmm. like, like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day. Uh -huh. Investigate my life, O oh God. Find out everything about me. Search me, O oh God, mm -hmm. and know my heart. Mm -hmm. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out know anything, anything in me that, that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Amen. My God, amen. 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 Thank you, Lucy. Very good. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Confirmation. Yes, How about that? Search me, oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So our church motto. I read the church motto. All right. This is the Lord's church. And Jesus is Lord. This is the church that's being established by his word. This is the church that love is building. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. This is the Lord's church. And Jesus is Lord. Amen. 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 I'm going to call. I'm going to call T to do our welcome. Amen. 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 Thank you, Praise God. Be also ready. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Be nice. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning, morning, friend. Good morning, friend. How are you? Uh-huh. It's a good day today. I made it to church. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
everybody else. I've been hired as working so hard, but God uh, bless me today to be here. Amen. Amen. Um, just want to know everybody online. I haven't seen y'all come in here. Mm -hmm. I need to make a trip. Amen. Uh, amen. Right. Convict them. Make a trip. Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. tweet, tweet, whatever. All that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> come on down. Special October 30th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. For that. Mm -hmm. um, just want to say, um, everybody, this month, October, and the month next month coming in, let's pray for everybody that had lost my family members. Absolutely. Good praise, Father. Make sure she's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, let's look out for each other. Amen. Um, that's my stuff. That's welcome. Appreciate you, Very good. Thank you.
Amen. Can you tell your neighbor, I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm glad to see you. Amen. Y'all didn't say it loud. Say, I'm glad to see you. Amen. I'm glad to see you. You, 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 and all, all of you. And those of you that are on Facebook, amen, I'm glad to see you. Amen. Pray for me. Amen. I think that I'm, the patch is going through a test. Amen. It's all right. It's okay. Amen. So the patch is going to turn this way. Amen. Because he will be distracted. Amen. But tell your neighbor, a day's coming. A day's coming. And they will be, don't do it. They will be will be over. Over. Amen. And if there's construction, it's construction that we manage. Right. Amen. Amen. So we bless the Lord. All right. Um, don't forget Dunamis Conference. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Get your registrations in. Ministers, elders, pastors, deacons. Amen. Get all your registration in. I got the list. Amen. I'm checking the list twice. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can pay your registration. Amen. I'm checking it twice. Amen. You can pay your registration through Tithely. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We honor the Lord. I want to get into um, the word. Amen. Thank God for all of you again being here. I can't say that enough. Pray for the absent members of our church. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying for me in my new job. Amen. President and CEO. Come on, Amen. Pastor. Pray, pray for me, y'all. Some of y'all are impressed with it. But I'm going to tell you something. Amen. With a big title is a big work. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Amen. With required. a big title is a big work. Yeah. Amen. Work. You can think that it looks easy when you see someone else doing it. See that part, Until right? You there. have to do it. Right. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Yes, it Pastor. becomes a whole lot of. A whole lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. You can hand that to me, son. Since I'm a little bit early, I'm just going to talk. No need to shout and scream and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's see if I can find this. And those of you that are old school, you'll be able to find this. Thank you.
thing that ever happened. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Amen. All right. In the book of Luke, in the book of uh, Matthew, the Synoptic Gospels, amen. Amen. This coming a time where I don't have to sing anymore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. When you get to be over 60, you don't sing no more. Is that what you that ain't amen. what that means. Five young people. Amen. Why? Amen. Why? Amen. Why? That was the same. That was Patty's life. Amen. And she's yeah, that was Patty's life. Amen. She made a life singing. The pastor didn't make a life singing. Amen. Praise the Lord. When I thought I was going to be, amen. Amen. When I thought I was going to make a life singing, the Lord said, not so. Go down to Blue Cross and get a job and take care of that child. Amen. And look where I am today. And this is not the Gospels. I'm going to read it um, in Luke first, and then I'm going to read it in Matthew. Luke, the sixth chapter, 47th verse. Whosoever that comes to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house. Amen. And dig deep. Everybody say dig deep. Dig deep. And laid the foundation. Somebody say laid the foundation. And laid the foundation. Oh, okay. On a rock. And the flood rose. The stream deep vehemently upon the house. And could not shake it. For it was founded on a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man without a foundation. Built a house upon the earth against which the stream did vehemently and immediately it fell. And the ruin of that house was great. In the book of Matthew, therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will like him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on the house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on a rock. But everyone who hears these things of mine and does them, and does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain, thank you, Monique, and the rain descended, the floods came, amen, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell, and great. Was this fall? Amen. I'm just going to teach a little bit. Tell your neighbor, dig deep. Dig deep. Amen. 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 And I'm going to say this: before you be deep, you better dig deep. Wow. Amen. There are a whole lot of folks that's trying to be deep. Amen. Without a foundation of being deep. Today, I want to speak to you a little bit about house building. Amen. And you can equate house building, amen, to building your life. Amen. Your reputation, a ministry, or even your relationship. Because you know, some of us get in relationship and don't dig deep. That part right there. Amen. Surface. Amen. Surface. Amen. Amen. Please, Amen. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. He just started. Amen. See what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you know you gotta cut to the chase. Yeah, okay. Get it. And great was the fall of it when the winds came. Right. And so the rains moved. came. Because you hadn't dug deep. In Luke, he is like a man that built a house and dug deep and laid the foundation. Amen. In this short story, there are two types of people in this world. Amen. This is a simple parable of Jesus. Amen. Two types of people. Amen. Those that, amen, build that on the sand and those that build on the rock. Amen. Which one are you? Are you a sand person or a rock person? Amen. So let's talk about those that built on the sand. Amen. I'm just going to talk. Amen. I'm not going to hoop today. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Amen. <laughs> Those that built on the sand, what they do is that they disregard the rock. Right. Hallelujah. They disregard the importance of the rock. They know the rock is attainable. Amen. But they disregard the rock. He believed in the rock, but he felt that he could get along without it. How interesting it is to know Amen. About something. Amen. And then discount it. Hmm. How interesting it is to know about something and know about the need for something, but push it off to the side My and God. discount it. Mm. Amen. I'm going to say that again. We discount that thing that we feel as though is important. Mm -hmm. So how bold of us, amen, to think that we have enough wisdom and vision to see ahead when we can't even see around the corner. Right. 
in front of them. Uh -huh. To think, some of us think that it doesn't take all of that. That's an old phrase mm -hmm. the old church people would know. Amen. That it doesn't take all of that. Amen. There has to be a quicker way. Because some of y'all want it microwave. That part. Amen. Quick, some of you want it quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all want it fast. Amen. Some, some of you think that there's a shorter way for me to get to the place where I need to go. So I'm not going to dig deep. I'm going to disregard the rock. Proverbs says it this way. Proverbs 1 tells us of a young man admonished to follow after wisdom. It mourns in verse 22. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Mm. You love simplicity. Because I have called you and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man and no man regarded. But ye have said at naught all of my counsel and would not and none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you when fear cometh. This is the fallacy of the unwise. But you know there are unwise people in church. Just because you shout and speak in tongues and you use all those church cliches doesn't make you wise with wisdom. It does not. Amen. Amen. It does not. Amen. You can be in church all of your life and still end up being a simple one. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say this. Pastor is so over cliches and clickish and clicheish people. Amen. That the first time you see them, oh, praise the Lord. I'm seeking the Lord. Amen. We need to see the proof of your seek. I need to see the proof of your seek. All right, I'm going to stay because if I stay on this, amen, I'll be all right. They think they know, amen, because of their limited experience. There's some people that think they know everything and have all the information based on limited experience. Amen. They think they know because, amen, they're sitting on the sidelines. Have you ever met someone who sits on the sidelines and says, I know how to do that? Don't ever get in the game, though. Don't Amen. Y'all want to help me today. They sit on the sidelines to preach. I, I can be a te I can teach in the at the daycare. That ain't nothing to that. Baby. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Till you get in the classroom, and then when you get in the classroom, and week one, it seems easy to you. Say, oh, priest ain't never done nothing. Mm. Baby, till that one child and that one parent comes in. That dear Lord. Amen. That one child. Amen. 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 It'll test your foundation of everything you thought it meant to be a daycare teacher. Yeah. Two years old can't be that bad. Listen, I've been around from two years old, amen, when I was at Ozanam Cultural Center in Pittsburgh, and I was... 19 years old, I walked in there and I was doing all the stuff on the board and the little boy cussed me out. Thank you. Tested my mouth, listen. And do what he meant. How bad could the job be, Sir Jazz, putting up little, and helping little kids until the little kids in the Hill District cussed the West Philadelphia board out there? Mm. <laughs> Sitting on criticizing what we do when we sit on the sideline and we've never been in that place. We criticize and act like we can do it, have never done the toil or the labor. Mm -hmm. Amen. They think that they know because they're the smartest one in their circle. Well, I'm going to help y'all. If you're the smartest one in your circle, circle, you want to check circle, that circle. Check it. Right. Amen. Don't do it. Don't do it. You think you're the smartest one. You're the smartest one. I'm the wisest one in my circle. You need to pray to the Lord enlarge your territory. Amen. What? Stretch you. Thank you. So the Bible says, can the blind lead the blind? Can the blind? Baby, if you're the smartest one in your circle, you want to check your circle. Check the circumference. Maybe yeah. you need to put some people in your circle that are telling who you are. I keep trying to tell you. Amen. You don't know who you are until you've been through the test. Amen. Get you a square. Get you a square. <laughs> the Bible says, shall they not, both of them, fall in the ditch? This builder did not heed to sound doctrine and sound counsel. Strong will and hard headed. He thought that he could do it on, all alone, just by observation. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was confident in his own wisdom and his own understanding. He didn't think that it takes all of that. It take all of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if we wish 
Amen. To end with Christ, we must begin with him. Next, he commenced building too soon. Uh -oh. He began to plant the stones of hope before he found the rock of safety. The conditions look good. Have you ever been somewhere and it looked good? Uh -huh. Amen. But it was on shaky ground. It's just made cute. This I'm getting ready to go there. The end result was more, listen, the end result of his house was more impressive than the importance of doing it right. Listen, tell your neighbor, I want you to do it right. You don't have to be pretty, just get it right. Thank you. Because let me help you. Pretty is. Help me, Jesus. I'm not saying Pretty is. Pretty is. I'm a caprice. Pretty is as pretty does. Uh huh. Mm. He was over anxious, too zealous to see the end result, but not go through the arduous process of laying a proper foundation. He began building when he should have been digging. Oh. Mm. Too anxious for something that would catch everybody's eye. Too anxious to impress onlookers, yielding to the pressure of friends and onlookers. Oh Hallelujah. Mm. This condemns the pastor because sometimes I want to put people in places. Amen. Amen. But I'm helping them commence too soon. Mm. Wow. Come on. I need to see how you can stand up to the storm of being a preacher, a teacher, a deacon. Never. Amen. Amen. Just going through classes is not going to help. And I heard the Lord tell me. Right. Going through classes is not going to help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a good preacher. And listen, the test of a preacher is not when he gets up and does what he's gifted to do. Right. That's a gift. Oh, come on. Because the gifts and callings of God, gifts and callings of God come without repentance. Well, what are you going to do when your character is challenged? That's right. Mm -hmm. well, the foundation. Of that takes. That takes a firm foundation. That means you got to dig deep. Mm -hmm. Amen. He built without a foundation. No wonder the Bible called this man a fool. Who would build a house without laying a foundation? Who would have a relationship without building a foundation? Mm -hmm. many. Many, 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 many. Yeah, many. Who would go into a job without the appropriate skills, knowledge, and ability? Many. I've Amen. seen it. Amen. Amen. That people will go and look at the qualifications for the job. Don't do that, angel. <laughs> they look at the qualifications of the job and they'll talk their way into a position. And then when they get overwhelmed, they, they don't know what to do with it. Uh, fire. Matthew said he built his house on the sand. I'm just talking. He felt the need of a house of refuge for his soul, but did not realize that what he needed was an absolute and palatable rock for his house. Some build on opportunity and on friendship. Some build on money. Some build on lust. But all these things are here today and gone tomorrow. Good Lord of mine. Hallelujah. Listen, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in love with somebody that couldn't tell me the truth about myself. That part right there, you are not my Listen, friend. listen, listen. I wouldn't be in love with somebody that, listen, my spouse told me the other day, you need to find somebody to talk to that understands what you're going through. He <laughs> was right. He was right. People used to say, Well, your mama just a direct, but no, I run an organization, run a church. Amen. Sometimes you need, some, need somebody to talk to that's been there and done that. Right, right. That right. runs something. You don't have never run nothing. You can barely run your life and you right. can give people advice and what it. Okay. Okay, come you have to on. Build on the foundation. Mm hmm. The Bible says, I'm just reading, lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust does corrupt and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust corrupt and where thieves do not break nor steal, but where your treasure is. See, I don't need to know where your treasure is. I just need to know where your heart is. Because where your heart is, your treasure is. So sometimes I question whether people really mean Jesus all the way because they don't always show up for Jesus and God's people. Listen, that's the truth. Right. Those who built the house on the sandy earth, amen, they did it beside the rolling river, mm -hmm. amen, which was treacherous, but the scenery was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. It looked good. It looked good. Amen. God bless you, minister. Good to see you. Amen. Amen. They built their house where it looked good. It looked good. 
but there was no foundation. Mm. Woo! Thank you. Good God Almighty. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. I hope this makes some of you all a little uncomfortable. Yes, amen. Amen. Did I go for pretty? Did I go for things that look good? Amen. And then when things started to because everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Yes, it will. Good God Almighty. Yes, it will. Everything that can be shaken. Listen. After all, listen, 21 years, amen, every now and then my relationship gets shaken. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Woo! Amen. 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 Wow. Sometimes there's a storm that comes. Sometimes there's an earthquake. But if you're built on a solid foundation, you make it through. Don't take me this time. I got, I got a hand for you. Don't build your house on what looks good and feels good. Because everything that looks good and feels good is good for you. Come on. To some of us want relationships that tickle our toes. Amen. And that will not stand the storms of life. Listen, no, we'll Don't not. build your house on the expectations of others. And we've been in Bible study talking about false self and, and bringing your representative to church. Listen, the real you will show up in your struggle. Yes, it will. Woo! Immediately. It'll show up. Now, you might have been able to hold it down. Because I know some people that can hold it down and have their representative show up. Two times and three years and four years and five years, but at some point in life, it's when the storm, storm comes, we'll know what foundation you were built on. Will you here for God or will you here for the people of God? Yes. Yes. Woo! My God. Because the storm doesn't dictate my assignments. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, I'm faithful to God. Still do. Because I'm built on. Oh, sure. I'm not preaching. Because mm -hmm. everything that glitters is not gold. Amen. Pastor, you still like them pretty. Amen. <laughs> Pastor, you so like them pretty and exotic. Hey, come yeah, on, come on, Deacon. Yes. <laughs> Until I got burned by pretty and exotic. Hey, the <laughs> then I said, I want somebody with a sure foundation. And if by chance, my son out here, amen. Smoke. So I won't say what I was going to say. <laughs> what God is doing in our lives requires engineers. Not architects. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some of y'all know the difference between an engineer and an architect. Know the difference. Amen. 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 As I look Come around on, in this building, they need an engineer and not an architect. What are you talking about, Pastor? Because what will happen is an architect will come in and put the plaster back up on the wall and right. cover up all those all spaces. We'll never check the foundation. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty. But an engineer will go down to the subfloor. Right. Amen. Check, come on, Gigi. Come check on. the joints and check the supporting beams. Uh -huh. See, some of us, amen, we like engineers, we like architects, but don't want the engineer to see how That's our foundation is. That's a dirty word. Listen. Tell your neighbor, I need an engineer in my life. I don't need an architect. Good call in my life. Amen. I was talking to Sir Jazz, amen, and I thought that, you know, everything looked good over there. Amen. But he's a building engineer. Well, amen. He said, Pastor, this is what the problem is here. I was like, well, it's easy work. He said, no, 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 Pastor. Right here, this support beam look a little rotted out. Uh -huh. They need to do a little bit more work. As for some of y'all, y'all be mad at him because you thought that it would take. Y'all will put up this drywall real quick when uh -huh. a storm of life came. It's then you will blame Sir Jazz, but you didn't listen to wise counsel. Because so wow. he told you right. Build your foundation. Take that beam down. Go down to the rock. Some of us don't have rock. We just got sand. Hey, ooh, uh, the pretty uh, put the beam down there. Build on the rock. Not the sand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Engineers are skilled in the technical aspects of building. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. So why would I go to you? Uh -oh. When all you do, when you're just an interior designer. <laughs> Well, you know, and I preach just an interior designer. This is what you do. You say, put this color on the wall. Pluck this pillow. Put this here. Amen. But you never went and saw what my foundation was looking like. Some of y'all are interested in people that do artistry. Uh oh. Come on, Pastor. And that's so pretty. Ain't nothing like no foundation. Amen. When the hurricane comes, all that pretty is blown away. Baby. Listen, when you build on the foundation, if the storm comes, you can still build on it. Mm -hmm. right. It's solid. Right. This yep. man's hopes were suddenly cut off. Yes. The storm began to rise. Listen, the Bible says that every man's work shall be made manifest. Mm -hmm. Amen. For the, the day shall declare it because it will be revealed by fire. Mm -hmm. And the fire shall try every man's works. Mm -hmm. There are those that dig deep. Do I have any diggers today? Amen. That dig deep. This, I'm, listen, 
I dig deep. First of all, he believed on the rock. He had no faith in the sandy earth. It was pretty. It was lovely. But something about the sandy earth when he put his foot in it. Uh-oh, probably sank. Oh, I'm sorry. He wasn't loved by the beauty of it, nor the quick success. He believed in the rock and would do nothing in the way of building upon it until he found the rock. Isaiah says this in Isaiah 28. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a foundation stone, mm -hmm. a tried stone. Let me help you out. Because some of y'all are building on pebbles mm -hmm. and pebbles. Let me say that, pebbles. I'm going to get a collection of little rocks and, and put them as my foundation. Mm -hmm. But that don't work. You need a solid rock. Mm -hmm. You need a tried stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need a precious cornerstone. A sure foundation. He that believeth shall not, watch this, shall not make haste. Let me break that down. See, when you build on a sure foundation, deacon, mm -hmm. you're not in a hurry. That part. Mm -hmm. If it takes 10 years, amen, I'm built on a short foundation. Stay a little while. Mm -hmm. You're not impatient. Amen. For the fulfillment of the promises of God. But wait patiently for it. Knowing that in the appointed time, good God of mine, mm -hmm. it will not tarry and that God will hasten it in his own time. Amen. So you're satisfied. Watch this. When you take your time digging deep and laying a foundation, you're satisfied with the foundation. Matter of fact, for those of us that have houses that are built on, on a good foundation, we're not too much in a hurry to pretty it up. Uh -uh. Oh, Y'all didn't hear that part. You're right. My grandmother said, you gonna buy that house? I said, yeah, yes ma'am, I'm gonna buy that house. She walked around, 22 got some place. She said, baby, don't be that much in a hurry to put all that stuff in the house. Take your time. If you got a good foundation, you can take your time. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, he believed that God's right. way was the best way. Right. He believed that God's way, this person believed that God's way is the best way. They believed in prayer and self-reflection. Good God. Right. That part. Hallelujah. Conscious self-reflection. Feedback about me. Mm -hmm. Search. Uh -oh. Search for your Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, my thoughts. Try me. Mm -hmm. See if there be any wickedness in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Listen, it's yeah. not Monique that's an issue. It's me, oh Lord. Oh, what are you trying to show me in this difficult situation? You're not trying to show me Monique. You're trying to show me me. Wow. So that your glory can be revealed in me. Sometimes the problem that I got with Monique is that Monique is a reflection of who I am. Uh, Listen. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Uh -oh. I don't like Monique because Monique, guess what? Monique mirrors my behavior. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But you need to have, when you build on the foundation, you can weather the storm. Mm -hmm. Believe in prayer, fasting in the word of God. Listen, the psalmist David said this, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. He spared no trouble. Watch this. He spared no trouble, deacon, to get to the rock. Mm -hmm. Some of you give up too easy. Amen. Some of y'all give up easy. You doth not persist. Right. <laughs> Let me help you. Persistence wins the game. Yes. Amen. I didn't get to where I am. Amen. In my life. Amen. I didn't get to that somewhere in my life. Amen. At 61, giving up. Amen. Some of you give up too easy. At the first sign of resistance or trouble, you throw your hands up and give up. But the scripture plainly says that he dug deep. Listen, he put in effort. Oh my, good God of mine. Yeah. He put in effort. effort. My bishop used to say he has uh, bulldog tenacity. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. He put in sweat equity. I'm not going to explain what that is. Y'all can look that up. Yes. He put in sweat yes. equity. That part. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because nothing from nothing leaves nothing. nothing. Good God Almighty. Listen, listen, listen. Sometimes you get a picture to dig with. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get a shovel. But sometimes and many times you got to dig with your hands. Oh, come on. Amen. Some of y'all want pretty tools, but really don't want to get your hand dirty. Right. Amen. And sometimes, amen, when you're doing God's work and you're digging and trying to get to the rock, the sure foundation, you got to get on your hands and knees and dig through the dirty. Do the dirty work. Do the dirty work. I worry about some of y'all because y'all have your nails too manicured and too pedicured. Your feet too pedicured. Sometimes you got to get down. Mm -hmm. Do the dirty work. <laughs> Digging is, is a cute. Digging is not for cute people. Oh, God. oh wow. 
<laughs> not for cute people. Amen. I'm going to say this again. The church is not for cute people either. That part. Well, not real church. Not real church. Amen. I don't know it's what I don't know it's what institution ugly. that's not messy. Yeah, listen. As soon as we show up, it becomes messy. It gets ugly. Every time. Amen. Amen. I don't care how much you speak in tongues and how much you know God. As soon as you show up. Right. Come on. Amen. When I show up. Amen. The question is, will you have enough grace? You want grace for your stuff, but won't give anybody grace for their stuff. Wow. Ouch. Amen. That's why I'm not going to get no preaching in the church. Amen. On the 23rd, I'll be at the other church. <laughs> Don't Amen. leave us out here. But I think they're part of us, and we'll be okay. <laughs> I think you'll make it. I think you'll make it. I think I'll make it. Sometimes you have to use your foot to push the spade in the soil. Because some of y'all never really did no real work. Come on, in the garden. Some of you really never did. Listen, I watched the people, amen, put the little patio thing up in my backyard. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be real easy, Sir Jack. They would just plop it down on the ground. Listen, because some of y'all just plop stuff and plop relationships oh. and plop your job on the ground. Sure. And I was like, he took me to the store and, I, and he came pulling stuff off the shelf. I said, what is all this stuff? He said, I need this. I need to build a foundation. A foundation will cost you something. Wow. Good God Almighty. Sir Jazz, he pulled out this little two cat bags of cement. I thought my ground was already stable. He said, no, I got to make sure it's level. Mm. Listen. Yeah. Yes. Then Deacon had to pay for the labor. Pull out the card back. Yes, I did. Then he said, stuff. wait a minute. I don't have it. We don't have enough. I got to go back. Because I don't want to do an incomplete work. Right. Listen, but when he finished it, I looked around. It was on a short foundation. Maybe. The whole church can be on the thing. <laughs> Amen. Now, listen. It has capacity. Listen, yes. listen. I'll get on it. I'll be like, whoo. See, that's the problem. When you're in relationship and in yes, it's in a, sir. it's not a show. It's wobbly. Sir. Check your foundation. Did you dig down to the rock? Listen here. I said, son, I said, young man, if this thing won't work, don't worry about it. They had special nails and special wood and special stuff they needed to do. I was like, this cost me a whole lot for this little bit of debt. He said, but it's going to last. Listen. Anything worth having is going to cost you something. Listen, right. sir. None of us go into war without knowing how much it's going to cost you. Yes. Good God Almighty. Good. Hallelujah. It's going to cost you something to be saved and sanctified. Thank you. With the Holy Ghost. Because they the willing, darling, must suffer persecution. So tired of people who just give up. But tell your neighbor, I won't give up. My foundation is here. I won't give up. I'm going to help you out. My foundation, amen, is not built on whether you like me or not. Most likely. I pay for this. Most likely, you ain't going to like me. No way. Most likely. Most likely. I did <laughs> okay, okay. Hallelujah. I love you though. Sturdy work. And most of the dirty work happens on the inside. Oh. Hallelujah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Yes. Most of the dirty work goes on on the inside. It's the enemy yes. work. Y'all hear what I'm saying? No, it's the people. No, it's me. Uh -huh. Amen. Touch yourself and say it's me. It's me. My attitude is me. My stubbornness is me. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might be beautiful. Amen. The marvelous. Marvelously made, but there's some stuff in me God needs to work on. I got to get to the rock. Thank you. Listen. Woo! Good God Almighty. I'm supposed to preach to preach. You got to get to the rock. Good God Almighty. Because with everything that can be shaken, be very sure your anchor holds and bricks the solid rock. Good God Almighty. Come on, Pastor. I hear the song. I shall not. I shall not be moved. I'm just like a tree. Play it. Play it. Good God Almighty. We don't plant oaks by the water because oaks will blow down. Amen. Back in that day, they had palm trees. And that's what the palm tree looked for. The palm tree looked for a rock. Uh -huh. Amen. To grab hold to the rock. And when the storm of life came, uh -huh. it, could, uh -huh. it just be. Then, it be. It it Amen. <laughs> don't snap. I watched the hurricane in Florida. Mm. All the other trees were blown down. Listen, the palm trees, the beautiful fronds were gone. But guess what? Down in the ground, they had a sure foundation. Mm -hmm. My foundation is not predicated on you, baby. Listen. Listen. Listen, if it's predicated on you, I would have given up 15 years ago. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to help you out. My foundation is not predicated on David John Henry. That part, right? And sometimes. Uh, that part. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Jesus. Let me say this. It's never a waste of time. 
Always transparent, church. Never a waste of time. Never a waste of time. Never a waste of time. Never a waste of time to dig before you start beautifying. Mm. You gotta get to the rock. Mm. Never a waste it. Time of examination. Amen. To get past pride. That part. Because pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -oh. Sometimes when listen, listen, listen. Some people think that pride is when people walk around and be cute. No, pride is when you think you can't take it when God says you should take it. Right. Y'all be preaching. Right. Amen. Y'all think pride is oh, he think he better than me. No, sometimes pride means I don't show up. I don't do the things I think I should. Sometimes pride shows up because I'm embarrassed. Yeah, that part. That part. Help me. Malice and jealousy. You know, I don't like Caprice because, you know, Caprice, amen, she ministered to everybody, but you haven't dug to the same foundation rock that Caprice did. Mm -hmm. Envy and hate. Lust and prejudice. Conceit. You got to dig until all of that stuff gets from around the Listen, I like this scripture. For I reckon that the present suffering of this time is not worthy to be, to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. He built his house upon it and he found it. Some of us get to the rock but don't build nothing on it. Uh, that part right there. We say it. We say it. We say it. Listen, I'm so over people saying this, saying stuff. Me and David talk. I'm so tired of people talking it but they don't live nothing. Because it's easy to talk. Amen. Amen. Talking loud and singing. Say nothing. Y'all don't remember that song. That's not R&B. That's not R&B. Talking loud and saying, and saying nothing. He was not just satisfied. Are you just satisfied saying, look, I got a rock. Listen. But you got nothing to show for it. He sought the rock for the purpose of him building on it. He wanted it to be the foundation of his hopes and dreams. He wanted it to be the shelter for his possessions, a safe place for his family and his friends. Many today are happy and seem perfectly satisfied that Christ is the rock of salvation. Amen. But they are indifferent as to what we should build on it. And we say it every Sunday, upon this rock, I'll build a church and the gates of hell shall not. I'm not the pastor, not the rock. Listen, listen. Would pastor? The pastor, not the rock. <laughs> I'm not the rock. Matter of fact, the pastor don't want to be nothing. Listen, I want to go to heaven. Right. Amen. As my son looks up to my father again, <laughs> I want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to live so God can use me. Mm -hmm. Listen, if I was your rock, you in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> that part. <laughs> you are resting on the foundation. Amen. But you don't build on it. These folks are saved. Amen. But they don't. Reveal the structure of it according to the grace of God. First Corinthians 3.10, write it down. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. Amen. Some of y'all are just builders, but not wise master builders. Mm. You talk like you a master builder. Amen. But you're not a wise master builder. And I have laid the foundation and another one builds thereon. But let every man take heed how he builds. Watch it. Watch how you build thereon. For a other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. How do I build? Second Peter 1 and 5. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith, virtue, and to your virtue, knowledge, and to your knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, charity. But these things be in you and abound. They make you that ye shall never be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge. Ye are the temple of God, lively stones built on the foundation of Jesus Christ. We build on the rock. When we do that, you'll never be disappointed. The storm came. How many of y'all been through a storm? Yes, Amen. Lord. So when I go through a storm, I don't worry about it. Because I know I got a good foundation. That part. Amen. I'm not running around. Amen. I got this house. We've been in this house for what, about a year and a half? Amen. Amen. The house is over 100 years old. Guess what? It stood some storm. Some shingles might shake. Mm -hmm. But that's just trapping. Ethiopia, my house. Is. I go down in the basement. I'm like, wow, how far down? The basement is not the foundation. Mm -hmm. They dug further in the ground before they put the basement in. Listen. People come in and say, wow, this how oh. They don't look at the real smart people don't look at, at, at the fancy kitchen. Uh -huh. Right. They look at the foundation. Uh-huh. Tell your neighbor, I see your foundation. I don't know if it's sure. Okay. Oh. What's your bones like? 
Right. <laughs> listen, I'm not impressed by your, the, how you dress up. I'm not. In, listen, when I come to see your house, I want to see that your foundation is sure. Wow. The storm came. The floods arose. The stream beat upon the house. Amen. And could not shake it because it was built on the rock. Though calamities and destruction may come, a foundation was laid, amen, that would be unshaken and unmoved by the assaults of the foes of God. We have tried the stone and found it to be firm, stable, steady, and sure. In him, listen, in him there is no failure when you build on the rock. There is no want to them that seek him. The life that is built on Jesus is as stable as God that sits on the throne. Listen, dig deep. Listen, don't be deep. So I know some people that act deep and say they deep until the storm comes. Oh. And then they got nothing for you. Nothing. They got nothing for you. Nothing. Amen. They pretty and they want to wear the run around collar and all that kind of stuff and want all the titles. And some of y'all should have titles and don't have titles. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That don't mean nothing. Amen. But can you? Can have you dug deep? Have you really gotten to the foundation, which is Jesus? Mm -hmm. Then it won't matter what people say and what people do. Because I listen, I'm not here for y'all. Listen, sir. Sir. I lost, I lost the church. I sir, lost the church. Here. Sir, Amen. Here. I'm, I'm here to get close to God That's and do what my assignment is. Amen. And if by chance some of y'all like me and some of y'all don't, Amen, that don't change my assignment. Nope. God said, be here. Right. Amen. It don't matter about who's here, who's not here. Amen. I don't care whether you like me, call me out my name. Amen. Matter of fact, I never answered to a name that God didn't give me. Uh oh, listen. I'm so sure, confident in my assignment. If everybody walks out, guess what? I'll preach on this corner until God sends somebody else. Yes. Because somebody, right. Build on the rock. Don't build on the pastor. Amen. At some point, the pastor won't disappoint you. Listen, listen. I know y'all don't want pastors like that. They, they don't. Amen. They want pastors that give you a false sense of security. Yeah. Amen. If I was to do that, listen, e, if I was to do that, that means when you call me and I don't show up, you fall apart. Mm -hmm. But if you've been built on a rock and the pastor don't show up, guess what? Your anchor still holds. Listen. Who thought about it? If the pastor don't show up, listen. listen. When my mother and my father forsake me, y'all don't know that scripture. Then the Lord, because I didn't build my foundation on my mama and my daddy, because sometimes, you know, in this generation, they don't do that. Bill, don't be satisfied with being shallow. Because uh -uh. you could be in church and be shallow. Uh -uh. They want to hear that. Yes. Amen. Amen. Listen, I told y'all, amen. The saints didn't like me at several churches where I was at, but that never stopped my assignment. Right. Matter of fact, I was more determined, amen, to complete my assignment in the face of my enemy. Because uh -huh. it wasn't about them. The test wasn't about them. God, they were just the iron that God used to sharpen me, so I showed up. Right. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord. And you know, amen. They were right there clapping and singing and uh -huh and all that kind of stuff. I said, guess what? But my anchor holds. Mm -hmm. My anchor is built on nothing. Left. Reach the stone. Mm -hmm. I got a hymn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help. This is for Sir Jazz. It's not the hymn that he thinks. <laughs> the hymn says this: How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in His excellent word. Then he says, what more can be said than to you, God has said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have led. Make sure that you're on the rock. Let's not be shallow. Amen. Amen. Let's not be shallow. Listen, I need, listen, I want to make sure, you know, I want to save, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. But are you? Are you sure? Are you really? Are you, really? Mm -hmm. are you sure? <laughs> because guess what? If you can be blown, if your house can be blown down over trivial things in life, Just what are you going to do? What you going to do when it hits the fan? Let, what, when the real test comes, what you going to do? All of it hits the fan. With all of it, hit the fan. I've been in places where everything hit the fan at one time. Amen. I gave up on everything, but guess what? My foundation was sure. Mm -hmm. Amen. And therefore, I was able to build on it. My house right. was shaking. Shaking. Amen. Some of the interior stuff. See, some of us put more value on the trappings of the house instead of the house. Put more work on the foundation. That part. All right. That part. She want to say bye-bye to Papa. Did you oh, say bye-bye to Papa? Yeah. Or, come on. Oh. Huh? Fix that skirt. Fix that skirt. 
Bye, baby. Everybody say bye, Jordan. Bye, Jordan. You said bye, bye. She came to see Papa. Okay. Listen, that's why I live, amen. Because when the saints don't want me, she won't. Right. Right. I'm just trying to help y'all. Y'all can see that. When the saints don't want me, amen, she'll show up and say, Give me Papa. Give me Papa. Then she'll tell me, Papa, stop talking. You won't wake the babies. She got busy. But remember who's her Papa. Right. Yeah. He's our father. Because right. some of the stuff that we have goes down generations. Yes, it does. You want to check us in your generational line. Listen. You want to check it. Now. Listen, listen, listen. You want to check it. <laughs> amen, amen, <laughs> amen. Every issue that you have is not because of other people. There's some stuff in your generational line. Listen. Listen. Oh, my. And then what we do is we get in relationship with people that co sign that in that line. Y'all don't oh, listen, 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 listen. We co-sign that. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I'm going to spoke a word of deliverance. Tell your neighbor, check in your line. Check in your line. Check in your line. Listen, my father didn't raise my father didn't raise me, but there's some John Clayton Sr. in this line. Amen. Amen. So I went and sat with my father to figure out what was in the line. Right. Amen. No, you what you working listen, with? Listen, listen. Right. Because you can't get close to God not knowing about yourself. Listen. Okay, being Bible study. Because mm -hmm. part of being spiritual is about knowing who you are so you know what part of you needs to be put down. Look, Listen, I'm crucified God. with Christ. You don't even know what part of you needs to be crucified. Look, you don't even know which part of you You don't even know what your old person is. Meaning cantankerous. I know where John's old person is. I can spot him a mile away. Sir Jazz, I can feel him when he's rare enough. Some of y'all don't even know you're so on autopilot. Listen. I can feel it when it starts to you just go into what's normal, what you've been doing for 10, 15 years. Your behavior is on autopilot. Amen. But tell your neighbor, the devil is a lie. The devil I'm is putting on the new man, which is renewed every day in yes, Christ Jesus. I'm building Lord. a new foundation. Thank what mama did and how my daddy and them taught me. And, Thank you, Lord. And sometimes they don't have to sit down and teach you. They teach you by their behavior. Yes, uh -oh. that part. Ooh, look at that. What you don't say. What you don't say. Right. Because one time they've been saying one thing. I love you, baby. And I appreciate another. you and treating you like they hate you. Doing another. And then we wonder why we're insecure. Listen, your listen, your spirituality is connected to your emotional health. Listen, yes, uh oh, they don't want that part. Yes, yes, it is. So I challenged myself in my relationship. I married somebody that was totally different. <laughs> me too. Hey, pray for me. Uh -huh. And when I would act like my family line, they were like, "That's not gonna work for me. What you gonna do? Either you gonna do this, or we not gonna have that." I was like, "Okay, be like them or be happy." Yeah. Right. I am wow. Listen, I'm trying to bring like deliverance in the house. Are you going to be keep acting like them and respond like you act like them? But I don't have nothing to do with them. Listen, son. I am not a my Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? And just because some of my behaviors might remind you of those people. I'm not those people. I didn't do that to you. So when you deal with me, deal with me this way. This way. Sir. Because we carry and bring ourselves into situations. I'm trying to help somebody be delivered. Amen. And sometimes we project on people our own stuff. All right. And I did that. I did it. Yes, I did. One time I went off in the house. I had to repent. I was like, where did that come from? And the Lord said, that's your mom in there. I want y'all to be set free. That was your mom and it had nothing to do with him. It had to all to do with my family line. He did something that looked like something they did. But he wasn't there. All right. Now that's how you really get to live. Mm -hmm. That's how you really get to live. You need to look at yourself. Recognize. You need to recognize stuff that's in your own family tree. Oh, that's uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's why I responded like that. That's why. Because oh. my mom, big mama and them. Right. They threw dishes. They right. Even though I tried to be saved, yes. Connor, and not throw dishes, but when I got pushed up, oh, when my house was being shaken, and I took dishes and threw dishes. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. What you gonna do when the person you with in the ministry you then don't respond to throwing dishes? Uh, and they just walk around like that's just a plate. Thank you. Not important. Right. So I'm play something. I'm gonna lose the church. Amen. That's just a plate. I'm gonna lose the church. Listen, the Bible says, examine yourself and see whether you be in the faith. Yes. Yeah. Me, you it. Amen. Amen. Okay. Right. Let's get ready to go. I have an assignment. There she is. I put, that wasn't my assignment. That's my assignment today. Mm -hmm. They've been having an assignment. I, I made a promise. I'm going to stick to that promise. Mm -hmm. 
to your neighbor, build on a short foundation. Short now don't hate on me because my foundation is short. Mm -hmm. And don't hate on me when, you, when your shenanigans come my way, I don't respond. Because mm -hmm. my foundation is short. Mm -hmm. My foundation is short. Let's get ready to go. Amen. Here's my date. I got a date. Here's my date. She's laying out. Amen. Date, are you ready, date? You ready? <laughs> You want, me, you want me to go to my pocketbook? <laughs> I have a date with Michaela and Maria. Uh, go. Amen. I'm, I'm trying to be a person of my word. I promised her that I would take her out. She could have whatever she wanted at the restaurant. I picked the restaurant. But it's going to be something that she likes. Otherwise, she won't talk about me next time. And she'll tell us. Amen. I know, but I know what I'm working with. She'll tell us. Amen. See, sometimes... Listen, sometimes you got to know what you're working with. Some of y'all don't know what y'all working with. Yes. Y'all working with a representative. Listen, I know what that's like. Right. She shows up like this or like this. Stand to me. Thank you for your patience. Amen. Amen. Listen, tell your neighbor construction's going to be over after a while. Listen, tell your neighbor, don't trip over the construction site. Look, God Almighty. Right. Some of y'all... Some of y'all tripping over the mess of construction. Mm. I just thought that in my spirit, Caprice, it's only messy now. Only messy now. <laughs> listen, listen. Some of y'all like, hey, some of y'all are like with an OCD and can't take stuff out of out of place and out of order and everything is messy. Amen. But yeah, that's short sighted. I heard you, Jesus. That's short sighted. That's short sighted. You worrying about where a plate is now, amen. But you're not worried about what it's gonna be when it's all over. Part, it's listen, listen, it's going to be all right. Tell your neighbor it's going to be all right. Be all right. Anything that's built takes a time of mess. Am I right, son? Yes. Amen. They're not going to leave that the same way. Right. They're not going to leave it the way. They're going to fix it. They're going to get to that dry, rotted wood. Amen. That moldy wood, they're going to get to it. And then they're going to put up the drywall. I hope that's what they do. <laughs> Amen. Yes. We have a master builder. Amen. I'm not gonna be here to see that. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Tell you, neighbor, I'm not gonna be here to see that. I'm gonna be here. Amen. But I hope to be around to see when God finishes working on you. Amen. We used to sing the song, "Please be patient with me." God, God is not through. Yeah. Look, God Almighty. When God gets through with me, I shall. I'm here. Listen. Be patient. I know I'm alive. I know. Me too. I know I'm alive. I'm just trying to yeah. give me five more minutes. I know I'm alive. I'm alive. Amen. And I listen, as your pastor, I attract people that are alive. Wow. Amen. Good God Almighty, thank Jesus just meant. Listen, Jesus just man, minister to me, Sassy. Clayton, you are alive. That's why you attract people that are alive. And those same people that are alive are gonna try me in my aliveness. Yes. Gonna try my patience. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lot, but tell them again, please be patient. Like, please be patient. Can you love me through myself? Yes, that, that my stuff. imperfections. That stuff. That stuff. The reason is you, when you love somebody, you meet them where they are. That's it. That's all you can You meet them where they are. You don't ask them to come where you are. You meet them where they are. That part. Because you spiritual. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider yourself. Hallelujah. I like this. So let's let's keep working on each other. Amen. I understand. Deacon calls me this morning. Amen. Sometimes I, I don't like what she says. Amen. And then sometimes what happens is I don't like what Gigi said, Deacon said, so I'll call somebody else to see if I can get a better answer. I'm just trying to help y'all. I'm just trying to be real because y'all do the same thing. Amen. But God's answer never changed. Amen. When you get wise counsel, go with wise counsel. Stop shopping for an answer. Stop shopping. Because in the multitude of counselors. Wow. All right. Be patient with each other. Be loving and be kind. Amen. Don't let the enemy get in. Because listen, if you let the enemy in,